Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. I need to get better at that intro because I am not prepared to do it. Uh, in the last episode, aka the first episode, aka the starter selection, I put the starters up to a vote. And I will be, I'll be completely honest, I am shocked at the way it went. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more... More, I don't even want to know if I'd say one-sided, but I think the Mon that I thought was going to do the worst did the best. So our starter between Voltorb, Huntail, and Bulldor is Bulldor. I honestly, for some reason, I thought Voltorb was like a Gen 1. Would have been a, you know, people would have been a fan of it. And I thought it was going to do really good, but apparently I was wrong. Uh, you guys went with Bulldor. I did not pull up a nickname for it yet, which I should do. Mm -mm -mm. I remember seeing a good name for it, but I forgot what it was. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. There was a really good name. There was a really good name. I'm going to go with Avocado. I feel like we did Avocado before for a name. I feel like I do food names a lot, but for some reason, I feel like avocado works for this. It's like the pit of an avocado, you know? Uh, let's check it out, see what its ability is. We get Pokeballs right away, which is amazing, which means we get encounters right away. Let's go, baby. Oh, let me pull up the uh, the game. Uh, party. First Pokemon. Bulldor. And it's... There, nice. Nice. Did I just get a message? I did not. Okay. So we just got Pokeballs. Is that what he said? Did we already get Pokeballs? I need to double check that. Bag. I do not have Pokeballs. What did he give me? I could have swore he gave me Pokeballs. Am I bugging? Am I bugging? Okay, the game is running a little rough. Crocodile. I'm going to double check. Maybe they weren't showing in that bag that I was in. I don't have Pokeballs. Why did I... I could have swore. That's what he gave me. Um, I'm going to go for this KO, though, because I need the experience. We have some important battles that happen like pretty early on, so... Ooh, that is good damage. You have rough skin. Oh. Uh, let me look at my ability. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm holding an Ultra Ball. I have Slush Rush. Eh, interesting. I'm holding an Ultra Ball, so I guess I can take that off and I can start the Nuzlocke. So the Nuzlocke doesn't start yet because I don't have any Pokeballs in my inventory. Um, but if I take that ball off of him, I'll technically have a Pokeball and I can start the Nuzlocke. Do I want to do that? Crocodile will be a great Pokemon. I would love to get that. I would love to have a crocodile. Um, ooh, do I just wait till I get Pokeballs? Because my only concern right now is if I wait. Let me see. Oh, he gave me a Pokeball just for the Palpio. Okay, I'm gonna go heal up at my mom's because I'm hurting. Um, what was I just gonna say? If I get a Pokeball, if I run through more than one area before I get Pokeballs, like legit, then I can miss out on some encounters, which I kind of don't want to do. Mm, that's kind of a tough decision. I don't know what I should do. I don't know. I guess I can find out like where I'm at and then take the Pokeball off of them. If I know for sure I can like get to the next area like without it changing. I don't think it changes. We get like a battle right here. Super repel. Could always use the repel. You know what? I'm going to take the Pokeball. I'm going to do it. Let's get our encounter. Let's do it. Let's get a free encounter right here before we do this battle. If I get a second Pokemon, it can help me out. Show me what you got. Crook was the first one we've seen. What else we got? I miss Magius. That's not bad. Um, you don't really learn any moves, which is kind of a... Ooh, 
That's a little land, Miss Magius. Interesting. 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 Um, let's name this Leaf. Let's name it Leaf. Don't know why you, the name Leaf, but that's what we're going with. Desolate Land could be good. Um, especially if I can learn like a fire move for it. It gives me its water immunity because the Desolate Land makes water moves not be able to be used at all. Um, obviously it makes me very weak to fire because it boosts the power of fire moves, but I'm not really that worried about that, honestly. It's like less of a worry for me. Let me check its moveset. Um, I'm pretty sure you start. I think this is all you, you don't learn any moves, which is a little scary. Yeah. How do I switch? Oh, you gotta press a different button to switch Pokemon. That's so weird. I was like, where's like the switch option? We're on the struggle bus. Struggling. Clang. Do I think you could hit me? I mean, level three, you probably have Thundershock, but you might only have like some other bad moves. Let's go for Psywave. Yeah, it's probably gonna not do enough at all. I should, yeah, I should just go for the Astonish. <laughs> I think Astonish would do more damage. Maybe. Eh, not really. Uh, but we could get some flinches. Could get some flinches. I don't know if he learns any moves in this generation. Gear grind. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that actually hurts a lot. That did eight damage. Can we get a flinch, please? Vice grip, that doesn't affect me. Flinch, please. Flinch, flinch, flinch. Uh, this is going to be a roll to kill. Or crit away from killing. Nice. It did not. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this and get this experience. I am cutting it close to get started. It is wild. Not the way you should be playing the game, Breezy. Oh, boy. Silly me. Silly me. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lead with Avocado <laughs> and I'm going to do this battle. Let's just do it. I don't know if he's going to have the Huntail or the Voltorb. Someone in the comments said that I I'm not like what I said the order was was backwards of like which Mon he would have. So he'll have the oh, I guess we'll see. We'll find out right now. The Incineroar was the Huntail and the Rowlet was the Voltorb. So he'll have the Huntail. That's not great. It's not great for me. Uh, the Desolate Land could make it work, but I'm pretty sure Huntail's going to have Bite to get started. If, I'm cor if I remember correctly. Huntail. I'm, oh, I can't believe I'm already looking at movesets this early into the game. This, is, this does not bode well for me. He does have Bite right off the bat. I don't like that. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Sure, let's battle. Heal me up. So... Boldor might just be able to 1v1, though. Boldor might be able to 1v1. I don't think he'll be too boosted. I didn't, I didn't crank the levels up crazy on this. It's not like the Iron Mon will be level 8. It might be like, it'll probably be level 6. Yeah, so I should be all right. Cover head, but he went for the bite right off the bat. Okay. Good damage, good damage. Try to flinch me down. I know you have water gun. <sighs> Don't you even think about it, Huntail. You're not winning this exchange. I have no healing or anything. All right, cool. Go for the screech. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. One thing I am excited about this game is that I've got, when you get the experience share, it's like so overpowered that you don't really have to worry about not grinding up with other Pokemon or rare candies or anything like that. Mm -mm. All right, we go up the stairs. Should I check out Iki Town? Is that what he said? I'm going to check out this item. Leafstone. Cool. I just got a Pokemon named Leaf. Isn't that ironic? 
Isn't that ironic? Ooh, little Kabuto. Ooh, Kabuto looks so cool in this game. Looks so cool. Big fan, big fan. Alright, um, if I didn't say in the first episode, by the way, this episode, this series, is going to be like the regular schedule I've been doing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. While Soul Link goes up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, alternating between me and Max channels. Um, so in case you guys were wondering why there wasn't an upload on a certain day or whatnot, but... Yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Try to keep them around 25 minutes. Um, and yeah. Let's keep it pushing. Um, you got an idea? Head to the village up the hill and you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. It's our island's guardian. Why don't you introduce yourself to it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't remember how this game does this scene differently. I don't remember if it's the same as uh, Sun and Moon. Because obviously you normally come here uh, and follow Lily, right? Oh, okay. They just didn't show her going this way originally, I don't think. Is it different birds that attack or is it still Spiros? I feel like it's different birds. I don't remember. We'll find out. We'll find out. I feel like it was Spiros in the first game. I feel like they changed it in this one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is usually all that what happens before you even get a starter. Which is why people usually complain about Sun and Moon. Yeah, it's still a Spiros. Still a Spiros. I actually have a Pokemon out, so I can just attack you. And a rock type. Destroy a Spiro. Get over here. Is her name Lily? Is that what it is? I don't know why I'm blanking on it right now. What's wrong? Help save Nebby. Wah, wah, wah. He's so cute. So cute. That bush down on the right looked like a shaman. Like at that angle it was at. It was really weird. They heal me up, which means you are going to attack me. Okay. Should have led with the Miss Magius. It's a Spiracle. I didn't even think about the fact that it was going to randomize. Oh, you know what's hilarious? Is that... I can... Give you a move to sketch. Oh, you're faster than me. Never mind. Get some experience. Let's get a little bit of experience on my boy Leaf. He was faster than me. I don't know why I didn't assume that was going to happen. I thought I was high enough level. Desolate land. I hope I can get a fire move on him. Struggling. Struggle does still hit me, but it does way more to you than it does to me. So we Gucci. We good. Get this little bit of experience on the Miss Magius. Hmm... I wonder what, I kind of trying to think like when you get your first like TMs in this game. Also, I am doing laundry right now. I don't know if the mic's picking it up. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe it's a little bit. Sorry if it's been bothering you guys this whole episode. I didn't really plan this out well. I was just having a nice little productive day. And uh, didn't realize I was going to record right after starting the laundry, but it was just like timing wise made sense. Just made sense. Okay. I don't know if I find another one of these. I don't think so. I think it just does this cutscene now. This game is so good. All the Ultra Beasts, the Tapus. So dope. So dope. And the legendaries, Solgaleo and Lunala. Broken. Some of the most broken box are Pokemon. Underrated, I would say. The Tapus are so good. Tapu Koko is so fun. Such an interesting Pokemon. Look how Nebby is just genuinely shocked. As if you're not like the creator of whatever. The sun and moon. And you're like, who's this guy? Just blown away. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nebby's fine. Oh, yeah, we got a little shiny stone. To give me my Z ring. I've completely forgot about Z moves. I like forgot that that's like a thing in this. Mm -mm -mm. 
sparkling stone with a Z on it already. Wow, what are the odds? All right. I also, I did speed up the game a tiny bit. I'm running it at 15% faster. I didn't add my Pokemon to the team. What am I doing with myself? Um, can I get these layouts up to date? Yeah, Miss Magius on the squad. Miss Magius fits the theme, the theme real well. Look at that purple. Look at that purple. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, but yeah, I'm running it a tiny bit faster. Uh, just because I know a lot of people complain about the cutscenes and, you know, there are a lot of animations and stuff in this game with the attacks. So it can definitely make things take a little bit longer. So I like to run anything that's on like the 3DS. I always like to run it a tiny bit faster. Nothing too noticeable, but enough that it'll help with some of these cutscenes time limits cutting down. Especially early on. Oh, well, this is going though. Uh, what else is new in the life of Breezy? I haven't really had a solo playthrough, I feel like. That I wasn't like playing a new game. Like, I've always been doing like these ROM hacks I haven't played before. So I feel like I'm really dialed into the game. But something like this, I feel like I can kind of like lay, like lay back and chill. So uh, I can kind of just have some random conversations. Uh, I spent today figuring out a bike for my wife. A bike as in a motorcycle, which to be honest, not a huge fan of it. Not a super huge fan of it. I think bikes are extremely dangerous and it makes me nervous, but, um, you know, is what it is. She really wants to get one. She's always wanted to. Her dad always had one like as she was growing up. So she was always like a fan of them. And, uh, one of my good friends, his wife had a bike and she's, you know, she wants to get rid of it. So he was saying he was looking to sell it. So it kind of worked out. It's a really nice bike. It's a pretty big bike. It's a Yamaha Bolt, which it's like a 950 CC. It's like a nice, you know, cruiser. I don't really know the bike terminology. We have to learn. Uh, but it looks really good. It only has, doesn't has a couple thousand miles. It's like 4,000 miles on it. Giving us it for a good deal. So, and I know he, I trust him like with taking care of it and everything. They had it brand new. So they're the only owners of it. So I really trust his, you know, maintenance of it and whatnot. And I know if I ever did have any issues or need any help, he'd come through and help me out, like fixing it up and stuff. So he's a good, he's a good friend and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for her. She's really looking forward to it as nervous as I am, but we went up, uh, he was busy. He works day shift and she works night shift. They both work at a hospital, which is funny. Um, but, and he's going up to like on a trip next weekend. So like the timing wouldn't have worked out for us to go see the bike for like two weeks or something like that or like 10 days and my wife was just too excited about it so she was like i want to get it so i was like well we're not gonna tell him we're gonna buy it if we've never if we don't know if you'll fit on the bike comfortably like you know what i mean it's a big bike my wife's pretty small you know she's only like five two and i was like you know i want to make sure that you're comfortable on it before we agree to buy it so I was like, how about this? We had a couple hours to kill this morning. We went and got breakfast. And I was like, how about you look up if there's one for sale somewhere? If there's a dealership that has one. And we'll just go by and just see if you can just feel it out. Just see how it feels. We're not test driving nothing. Just see if we could sit on it. See how comfortably you feel on it. So we found one. It was like a 30 minute drive. And she sits on it and she, immediately she was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what I want. I was like, all right. So I hit up my friend, told him gave gave me a price range of what he wanted for it i and he said he'd help like get the bike to our house and everything he'll drive it over so i was like all right got it making the deal so she's super excited she's gonna get her permit all situated and i will uh just start drinking more to deal with my anxiety of her riding the bike and you know life will be good life will be good and we have pokeballs so this game is confusing with encounters. Route one is a lot of different areas. I can't go that way. The route one that was on the side, man, I need to double check what it said. Can I look at the map? 
How do I do that in this game? How do you look at them? I think you click on the... Oh, I don't think my map is working yet. So this is Route 1. The side that I caught uh, Miss Magius in... I need to... I don't know what it says for that area. There's a, it'll say Route 1 on here, right? Almost 100%. Yeah. I need to double check, though, what it says when I walk over to that route. Because if you do this game strictly by what it like registers in as the pokedex you only get like 10 encounters the whole game it's it's literally insanity um so let me see what it says it says highly outskirts on this side what does it say when you go up here does it change or does it stay it says route one okay it doesn't change it just says route one on the other side too so this is not a new encounter We've already gotten our encounter for Route 1, and it was Miss Magius. Um, if, like, if it said Hyoli Outskirts, uh, Hyoli whatever, it, I would count it as a separate encounter. But this one just says Route 1, just like the other one did. So, no changes for me. No encounter here. I would have gone to Hypno, which I don't mind Hypno, to be honest. I don't think Hypno is that bad. Not my favorite Pokemon, but a nice little Gen 1 boy. Uh, Miss Magius is cool, though. I just need to get TMs from his Magius because it's going to be rough until I get some good TMs for it. Uh, but we're going to do a grind up a little bit. We got a couple trainers on this route before we get to. Um, I think we have to fight How again. Pretty sure that's all we got to do. I think we get a couple of items over here too, which is good. Get a couple items. Mm -mm, mm -mm, Breloom. Ooh, I would have liked a Breloom. Breloom's a cool Pokemon. A very cool Pokemon. <coughs> also, another thing. Um, I was talking to my wife in the car today while we were driving to the uh, to go look at the bike. And she was like talking about her family being like, she was like, lately, I don't know what's gone into like her grandmother. Her grandmother lives in Russia and stuff. She was like, she lately, because they don't understand my job. So she's been saying a lot lately, like, why doesn't he, like, go back to school and get a degree just in case so he can have a good job and get a safe career? Like, that's, like, how their thinking goes. First trainer. First trainer. But, anyway. They were thinking, oh, you know, that she should try to get, you know, a real job because he just plays video games. Like, what is... That's not a... That just old way of thinking, which I don't mind. I think it's hilarious. But... Uh, she was talking about it and I was like, I honestly like I have said forever. I do want to like go back to school at some point Like I really liked going to school. It was just always Situation as far as like cost or time that I had I never really was in a good situation to like consistently go to school So that's the only reason I like kind of never went back and I was like I always kind of wanted to You know when I figure out what I if there is something I want to go for I want to want to go back for it And she was like I did hear that the Massachusetts now has free community college for people who do not already have a degree i believe um they used to have this program in massachusetts whereas if you're over 25 you can go to community college for free or something like that and i was like that's really cool i'm gonna look into that because if i could go to school like just super part-time and not have to pay for it i would definitely love to go back to school so i submitted my fafsa and so it my fafsa and stuff like that and I'm going to try looking into it. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to do. I honestly, like I said, I've, I was in school for like engineering and I was like, you know, just like going for like a, um, an associates, like nothing crazy. I've, I probably had enough for an associates at one point, but between transferring from like a bachelor program to a different school, um, you know, you lose a bunch of credits and stuff doesn't transfer and so much time's passed since I've been in school. I don't even know what credits will still be even viable. I don't really know how that all works. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, but I think it's, it's kind of exciting. I'm excited that I found out about that. And, you know, it's going to kind of give me a little kick in the butt to get working on sun. And I feel like that's kind of exa that's exactly what I need right now. Oh, my. Oh, my. Leftovers. 
Avocado. Yes, please. I'm going to potion you guys up because I don't feel like going all the way back. Oh, that's so good. Leftovers this early in the game? I'm thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled right now. Does this change to another area? Why does the screen go dark like this and not fix? When it shows like the... Like the... See how that changes? It like, gets stuck on it. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Preschooler Oliver. There's a fungus among us. It's the best meme ever. I love it. Alright, um, uh, you're kind of a problem though. I resist poison, so you shouldn't go for the poison moves, hopefully. You go for bide. That's bad. That is bad for me. Oh, that is so bad for me. Um, I'm gonna go into avocado. I don't think bide checks as a normal move. Um, if anybody knows for sure if that's how that works, let me know. Because if I could, like, guarantee that, that that wouldn't actually have done anything to me, that could be exciting. Unleashing your energy. And, oh my god. That was so much damage. I need to switch, though, because I can't take, like, a special grass move from you. I'm going to hope you click bite again. And I can just play these switching shenanigans around on you. Um. Oh my god, this desolate land is making this go so slow. Goes for growth. Oh! Growth. You heathen. You heathen. What did you go for? Oh. Hey. Is that just absorb? <laughs> Doing no damage. No damage. Get him out. Get him out. I was actually very terrified just now. Thankfully, that did not kill me. Uh, measuring the aura readings here, the numbers appear a bit high. What do you think, Captain? I got that aura, baby. What's up with aura being a thing all of a sudden? I feel like everyone's... It's like a new... That's what the kids are saying now. Aura. Super silly gooses. All right, what are you doing, Mr. Mustachio? You're not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. How do you know? How do you know? You judging me? All right. I'm actually going to save it right here. I believe there's like a little cutscene here, and then we fight how. Uh, so I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, we got our first two Pokemon on the team. We got Pokeballs. So as soon as we do this battle, we go down to the laboratory, which is a new encounter. I think there's actually two encounters there, because there's a cave that you can get an encounter at. Um, so we'll start expanding the team in the next one. Leave some nicknames. I uh, appreciate all the love on the episodes already. Um, leave nicknames. Send the video to a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.